back to a time in your life when you felt neglected and unwanted. Now, multiply that feeling by 50. This is what the children of Ciudad de Angeles have felt like at some point in their life. How could somebody go through this and continue to live a normal life? Well, today I will tell you about the orphanage of Ciudad de Angeles in Cozumel, Mexico, that I have visited twice before. I will share with you how they take in children and how they lead and raise them in a strong, positive Christian environment. I will explain the history of Ciudad, tell you a little bit about some of the angels and where they come from, and describe to you the plans of the future and the directions that the orphanage is working towards. Ciudad de Angeles is a Christian home on the island of Cozumel. It is a safe and healthy environment and is used for, the all, for all of the needs, the physical, emotional, and intellectual needs of the children. The main goal of Ciudad de Angeles is to raise abandoned and neglected children to become Christian adults and grow up to be positive citizens and responsible. In the beginning, there was a donated rental house in 2002. The founders of Ciudad de Angeles were mission workers on the island of Cozumel named Phil and Donna Waldron. The American director is Dennis Wilson. I talked to his daughter Valerie and interviewed her and they had lived on the island for five to six years and were completely immersed in the Mexican culture. This year he resigned and moved back to Texas in the United States. Currently on the campus, there are 31 children from the ages of 4 to 17. There are four homes, two, older, two boys and two girls, a garden, a basketball court, and a resource building. They started working on five acres of land in 2007, and construction is still underway, but progress is being made. 